This is Hessel Station, which lies right next to the Humber Estuary and also the Humber Bridge. And directly south over the Humber from here is Barton-on-Humber Station, which lies pretty much exactly two miles away as the crow flies. However, there is one problem in the fact that there is no railway that goes over the Humber. So it takes an absolute age to get there. And so we are going to travel there by train anyway, just to see how long it takes to do a simple two mile journey by train over the Humber. So let's do it. The funny thing I found actually on my phone right now is that the train line, despite being, you know, an app that's based around buying train tickets, doesn't even mention the train as a possibility of getting over the Humber. It mentions going to like Hull bus station and then getting the bus over the Humber. And that's your only option. It doesn't even mention the train. It's kind of funny. It's that slow. So we'll be starting off by getting the 1157 to Doncaster and once we've started setting off I will start timing just to see how long the journey actually takes. <laughs> All right, we've started the clock, and uh, yeah, we'll see how long this takes. So first thing, off to Doncaster. You know, the journey may be slow as hell, but that scenery is quite something. We are on the approach to Doncaster now. Um, and unfortunately, I've got a 40 minute wait for the next train. And to add insult to injury, we're going to have to be playing a game of TPE roulette. Will it get cancelled? Will it not? Fingers crossed. And here we are now at Doncaster, and Platform Zero too, one of only a few Platform Zeros in the country. So, let's change to our Transpennine train. Okay, so, we need Platform 4 for our train, which is over there. So, we're going to have to change to it through the, uh, the subway. Ooh. Well, it's been 20 minutes so far and the train has not been cancelled yet, so... Yay, that's a, that's a good sign. <laughs> this is TPE we're dealing with after all. I would not be surprised if anything goes south. Alright, our Transpennine train is in about 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to do this whole waiting thing again because we're going to Habra, where we'll have to wait an hour for the next train after there. Great. And here we are, our Transpennine train to Habra. So we just left Scunthorpe and it's been over two hours already. And we're not even at Haber yet to change, or we have like another hour to wait. All to travel two miles. Never do this, seriously, never do this. And here we are at Haber, where we now have a 50 minute wait for our train to Barton on Humber. Honestly though, this station here is actually really quite nice. <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, the actual town or village of Habra here only has a population of about 600, so it's uh, quite a nice little rural station. It's quite nice. Anyway, this is the uh, wrong platform. We need to uh, switch over to the other platform to get to Barton-upon-Humber, uh, and they are separated by <laughs> a level crossing, so we want to be on the right side of the level crossing before, you know, before it's too late so we can actually get over. All right, here we are, platform one. So time to wait for the third train to Barton-on-Humber. 45 minutes. <laughs> Yay.
you know, you never really get to see this much in any of these videos. The amount of waiting I have to do sometimes for some trains, especially in rural places like this that get very limited service, happens way too often. <laughs> it's now just gone three o'clock and uh, we have also just crossed the uh, three hour mark for journey time. I, I still can't believe this is a two mile journey I'm doing. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh look, old northern logo, huh, I love spotting old logos. <laughs> anyway, we're on the uh, home stretch now, just uh, 10 minutes to go until the train now. Hooray! This is 156408. This is the same train that took me to Aslockton for the Elton and Austin video, Peterborough for that video, and to Saxelby for my Q&A video. I cannot escape this train. So we're approaching Barton on Humber now, and I will be stopping the timer when the train stops moving, and that will be the final journey time. The journey is going to take under four hours, by the looks of things. Yay! So there we go. We've made it to Barton on Humber Station in 3 hours, 49 minutes, and 50 seconds to travel 2 miles. That's kind of ridiculous. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go and walk over the Humber Bridge from here to Hessel Station now and time that instead to see how long walking takes compared to getting the train. Because I can tell you right now, it's going to be way faster. So let's go and walk over the Humber Bridge. So the Humber Bridge is down this road here and I'm just going to get out my phone now to begin the timer to start walking. Okay, here we go and we'll now walk over the Humber Bridge to Hessel. Now I'd say I'm a pretty fast walker so it's going to be interesting seeing uh, what the final time is once I get back to Hessel. Alright, it's a left turn down here I think. And here we are, here is the path. So let's do it. Let's walk over the Humber Bridge. I mean, uh, minus the loudness of the cars, I'd say this. This is pretty good. Apparently you can do uh, video tours of the bridge here by scanning QR codes on that sign. Huh, that's cool. Look at that. It's beautiful. I know I'm a channel about trains and all, but I must say, this view right here, this trumps the train by a million miles. This is amazing. You never really get a sense of quite how monumental these things are until you get up close to them. They're absolutely brilliant. I love this kind of stuff. It's a shame really that I can't be on the other side of the bridge because over there you actually get a really nice view of uh, the city of Hull. Um, but unfortunately I couldn't go there because uh, that side of the bridge was closed off. But hey, I will still take this view. This is still pretty good. Judging by the fact that the bridge is now on a sort of downhill slope, I'm going to assume that we're more than halfway over now, and the timer is only at half an hour. This is ridiculous. Alright, we are across the Humber. We have crossed from Lincolnshire to East Yorkshire. And now I just need to find where the actual way to get off the bridge is. <laughs> and there you go. The Humber Bridge. Just like that. Very nice. Right, that uh, footpath under the bridge was closed for some reason, so I'm having to come down here instead. Hopefully this still gets me there in decent time. It also turns out that that way there that was marked as a path on Google Maps is also closed. Uh, we've got this final path here and this is my last resort. If there's no way through here then I'm a bit screwed. <laughs> Alright, uh, it seems to be open. That's, uh, that's a relief.
And here we are. The station is a straight shot down this road. Here we are, back at the station. And we'll call the time. 52 minutes, 41 seconds. About a quarter of the time it took to come here by train. <laughs> that is ridiculous. But hey, now you know how long it takes to travel by train versus by legs between Hessel and Barton on Humber. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know whenever I upload any new videos, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. And as always, a massive shout out goes out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and of course, in particular, my first class patrons, can't believe I'm saying that's plural, Joe on the Trains and David Bainbridge, and my standard premium patrons, Charles, Daniel Geographic, Dylan Davies, Emily, who's probably just skipped to the end of the video now to hear what I'm going to say, <laughs> Hugh Hillier, Jacob House, Manic, Reese Harrison, Rob K. Carter Rudwick, and Stuart S.